Hi everyone. Did you know that today is a special day? Do you know what we are celebrating today? Let's think about that. Okay, we know it's not Christmas because it's too warm outside and it's not Easter because we had that oh, about a month or so ago. And it's not my birthday because my birthday's in August, but we are celebrating a birthday today. I even am going to make a cake for it after this recording. Well, in order to figure out what birthday we are celebrating, we have to know what church event today is. And I'll give you a few hints. The first hint is the number 50. Did you figure it out yet? No? Okay, I'll give you a second hint. The color of red. Oh, some of you figured it out, huh? Well, I've got two more hints. Let's see if the rest can figure it out. Okay, hint number three is fire or tongues of fire. Okay, did some of you figure that out with that hint? Okay, the fourth and final hint is wind. Wind, W-I-N-D. Okay, did you guess it? Well, if you said Pentecost, you are correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't guess it correctly, well, that's okay. I'm going to go through each one of those clues and explain each one. Okay, the first clue was the number 50. Pentecost is the festival when Christians would celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is celebrated on the Sunday, 50 days after Easter. Pentecost is also regarded as the birthday of the Christian church and the start of the church's uh, mission throughout the world. That's the reason why, I may, why I'm going to make a birthday cake later on. Happy birthday, Christian church. Now the second clue was the color of red. It symbolizes joy and the fire of the Holy Spirit. If you go to church today, I want you to look at the altar and on the pulpit and the lectern and even look at the stole that is around Pastor Jim's neck and see what color he has on. Look around and see what other people are wearing. I'm wearing my red shirt for Pentecost. Okay, the third clue was fire or tongues of fire. This is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. These tongues of fire, like what I have here, can you see it? These tongues of fire descended on the heads of the apostles and other followers of Jesus, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, causing them to speak in all different languages. Now the fourth and final clue was wind. And this is another symbol of the Holy Spirit. And I have a demonstration about it and why I am doing this presentation outside today. Do you know what this red, white, and blue thing that's behind me, what it is? Well, it's called a windsock. And this other contraption here is called a wind spinner. Now the windsock is a type of a kite. When the wind is blowing, the windsock's tail blows in the wind and we can see what direction the wind is going like it's doing right now. If it isn't moving, if the wind isn't moving, then we know the day is not a windy day. We can't see wind, can we? But we know the wind is there because it moves this windsock, it moves the wind spinner, and it blows my hair. But just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not important to us. I think the wind is going the wrong direction now. Okay, the wind helps us cool down when we are hot. It is even a source of energy for some homes and businesses. 
Wind carries heat, moisture, pollutants, and pollens to different areas. We also know that wind can be have disadvantages, like when the wind is so strong that it destroys homes or uproot trees, like in tornadoes and hurricanes. But the wind we are talking about today is a good wind because God gives the wind for the good of everyone. God's Spirit is kind of like the wind. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is very important and is always with us. Can you think of something else that you can't see but is important to you? Hmm, let's think about that one. What about God? Can you see God or Jesus or have you seen them? Well, I haven't, but we know they're there and we know they're very important to us. Many years ago, a bunch of believers were gathered together in the town of Jerusalem and, and they were in the Jerusalem because they were celebrating a festival called the Feast of Feast of Weeks, it's what it was called. At that time, a, a loud, mighty, rushing wind blew into that area, and the people saw what looked like tongues of fire descending on the believers' heads, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helped them share God's message of love with everyone around by speaking other languages. There were many people there besides the believers, and they didn't speak all the same language. When the Holy Spirit came, they could under, understand everything that was being said. When we believe, God puts His Holy Spirit in us too. If you believe, I want you to say, I believe. Okay, let's do that. I believe God's Holy Spirit lives in you. There are so many ways the Holy Spirit helps us every day. We are all made children of God through the Holy Spirit. You can say he is the wind in your socks. That's it for today. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to comfort us, guide us, and live within us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming to the church's birthday party. Have a good week. Bye.